Takeover begins next week. And if you're looking for a fabulous recipe that you can get your kids involved in addition to being kosher, well, this fabulous and talented lady has just the recipe for you. Of course, we're joined by Tanya Toledano, parenting blogger. Welcome to the show. Great to have you here. Thank you, Derek. So uh, what is it, first of all, what does it mean for something to be kosher for those at home that aren't familiar? Well, kosher is a huge, huge concept. There yeah. are a lot of rules and regulations. But for Passover, generally, we don't eat bread and various grains. It's, it's, it would be longer than this segment. But right. we, we don't eat bread. And pasta is also, there are noodles that are kind of made kosher for Passover but they're not, they're not great, so eh? good okay. and a couple of years ago it occurred to me well gnocchi is like potato based and usually there's flour but if we replaced it with potato starch why can't we make gnocchi for Passover and it was a it. hit okay so you're gonna show where... us how to do this here today right yes. okay so um, basically you're gonna start off with baked potatoes six baked potatoes and you should use them when they're warm so here okay. in studio they've cooled off a little bit right of course um, and basically split them in half and you can hollow them out either with a spoon and then mash them. Okay. Or you can actually rice them in kind of with your fork. So you can do this. And the reason I say not to throw away your skins is because you can keep them and add some tomato sauce and I love that cheese. Idea. And then I've got a piece of skin here. And you have pizza skins. You just bake them off in the oven. Oh, that's a so, great idea. Now, in order to make the gnocchi dough, so right. we would start with the baked potato mm -hmm. mash. And again, it should be warm. And then you add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. I'm going right. to let you do the nutmeg over there, Certainly, Derek. absolutely. Okay. Look, you got this beautiful plane. This is a nice Thank one. You. Oh, I love the microplane. It's oh, like it's my favorite It's so tool. nice, isn't it? And you and can use it for yeah, everything. That's perfect. Not too much. Okay. That's excellent. I will let you add one cup of potato starch. All right. I potato will add, starch. Yes, I've never heard of because that. we can't use flour. Of course. And then I will add two eggs. And normally, we would mix this up into a dough. All right. And, but it's not going to mix up very well here because it is cold like the potatoes are quite right cold. so you need them at least room temperature it, are you saying or even oh, warmer, warmer than that, than that. Okay. warmer than that like when you're cutting them you may need to wear gloves <laughs> so we okay. mentioned this is kid friendly where can we get our kids involved they in can this, get involved process? in okay if you split the potatoes for the for the kids and they're cooled off a bit which is still fine they can hollow them out and mash them okay they can dump in the eggs measure the potato starch put in seasonings Perfect. they can also once the dough is made and I'll hand you some this is okay. it's super easy you just take some okay, dough put this over here and Normally with gnocchi, you would roll it into like sort of a, like a long string and then cut it, but this dough is too delicate for that. Okay. So you just take, you could roll little like olive sized um, shaped balls like this. All right. Or for kids, what they love to do is just kind of take a little bit and scrunch it. And you make like a funny okay. little shape there, but they come out quite nicely. The, the plate oh, behind yeah. is that shape. And so you just do this and the kids love it and it keeps them busy. Now, don't isn't there that famous? You know, you see the there is the the Italian mama so Nona. She's like, <laughs> she's like does the little uh, thumb thing or something. A hundred percent. But if it were with a flour base, it would be a I lot see. easier because it would be a bit more of a sturdy dough. Right. And then we would cut them, and then you could you could do it either with the thumb or some do it with the thumb and then the fork to make the little ridges, uh -huh. and then they kind of curl up nicely. That's but the secret. To that, the, they, okay. they use the fork to well, make. Well, I'm not that the little, Nona, but well, that's, no, but that's what not. I've learned. Yeah. That's what okay. I've learned. So, um, but this is fun for Passover. So you get your ridges like this from your fingers, and the kids love it. And yeah, this is they're great. They're yummy to eat, and you just boil them off in boiling water. You add them to a pot of boiling water. Let them rise to the top. I do recommend waiting a little bit longer again with these to, like, okay. you know, so they'll turn, they'll turn like from more yellow to white. I use yellow flushed potatoes. I find that that works very well. All right. And um, and that's it. So, and now, what kind of sauce would I serve this with? So I love to make an arabiata sauce, and I make one version. I keep one pot without the chilies, like without like right. not spicy, and one pot with. And the recipe's on the website. Oh, terrific! But you can just take one of your favorite jarred sauces, and you could also, I mean, if someone wanted to use pesto or olive oil, you. You could do that as well. You don't. Ha it doesn't have to be tomato sauce, but we love it. Arabiata in our house. Arabiata. I've never okay. heard of that. So, what is the so, main ingredient in that? In the arabiata sauce, yeah. you just uh, tomato, tomato sauce. sauce you start based? with like uh, sautéing some garlic, some shallots, a touch of vinegar, and you add the tomato sauce. And then at the end, I, I say like add a half moon. So if your pot is like that big, or like halfway of like the chili peppers Very but nice. I remove enough for the kids beforehand and uh, it's really and quite simple <laughs> serve away well happy Passover okay. to you and Thank your you family so much. always a pleasure having you on the show Tanya Toledano a parenting blogger her blog is montrealmom.com